right guys thank you guys for checking this video out just a quick um, review of this XLI 1500 crown uh, amp quick 30 second review it is a two channel amp uh, 8 ohm load you're gonna get about 330 watts per channel 4 ohm load you get about 425 watts per channel and bridged you get about uh, I think it was 900 watts a channel there's a video on YouTube where a guy puts it on the dyno. Um, Google dyno crown amp and you'll figure it out. And the actual bridged wattage was over 1200 watts. Um, so, and I think the actual 8 ohm wattage was 445. And then the 4 watts or 4 ohm was about 550 watts. Anyhow, this, this, this amp is, is a beast. Um, it's a budget amp. Um, I, think I got two. I got this one for three. I think it was three twenty nine at the time, and the other one that I got was um, a refurbished one. I got it for two seventy nine, and they both work the same. No issues. Um, I have this connected in my home theater surround sound, and it's pushing. Uh, one is pushing two twelves car subs. The other one is pushing two ten inch car subs. Um, they, they, they're, the subs are wired to an 8 ohm load, so each sub is getting roughly around 400 watts RMS per sub, uh, both the 12s and the 10s. So um, let me go ahead and show you a little quick sample of what uh, this Crown Amp can do. Uh, you're not going to really be able to appreciate the sound um, you know, from your, from your phone or computer or even your headphones. You'd have to be in this room to know what I'm talking about when it's how, how good it sounds. But this little this little crown app, uh, which weighs around 28 pounds, can produce some some powerful wattage. So okay, so let's take a look at what uh, this can do with music, and then I'm going to show you what it can do with a movie, uh, especially movies, man. This this thing can make that bass just sound incredible and gives my my living room like a little earthquake. Anyhow, let me show you what's what what this thing can do. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> 